Varicose veins are a common medical condition characterized by the appearance of twisted, swollen, and enlarged veins, typically in the legs. These veins are often painful, itchy, and heavy, causing significant discomfort and distress for those affected. In this video, we will discuss what varicose vein is and how common is it. We will also explore its causes, diagnosis, and treatment options. So, watch the video till the end and support us by subscribing to our channel. Varicose veins are a type of chronic venous disease that occurs when the valves in the veins become damaged or weakened, allowing blood to flow backward and pool in the veins. This pooling of blood causes the veins to become enlarged, twisted, and swollen, leading to the characteristic appearance of varicose veins. Varicose veins are a widespread condition affecting approximately 10% to 30% of the global population. The prevalence is higher in developed and industrialized countries, with the United States reporting a prevalence of around 23% among adults. Women are more likely to be affected than men, with a female-to-male ratio of approximately 2, 1. The condition is more common in older adults, with the majority of cases occurring between the ages of 40 and 80. The exact causes of varicose veins are multifactorial and complex. However, several key factors contribute to the development of the condition. Genetics, family history, plays a significant role in the development of varicose veins, with approximately 50% of patients having a family history of the condition. Age, the risk of developing varicose veins increases with age, particularly after the age of 40. Gender, women are more likely to develop varicose veins due to hormonal fluctuations during pregnancy and menopause. Pregnancy, pregnancy can cause varicose veins due to increased blood volume and pressure on the veins. Obesity, excess weight, can put additional pressure on the veins, contributing to the development of varicose veins. Occupation, prolonged standing or sitting, can contribute to the development of varicose veins. Diagnosing varicose veins typically involves a combination of physical examination, medical history, and imaging tests. A physical examination can reveal the characteristic appearance of varicose veins, including swelling, heaviness, and pain in the legs. A thorough medical history can help identify risk factors and potential causes of varicose veins. Imaging tests such as ultrasound, MRI, or CT scans can help confirm the diagnosis and assess the extent of the condition. Treatment for varicose veins aims to alleviate symptoms, improve circulation, and prevent complications. Some treatment options for varicose vein includes compression therapy, minimally invasive procedures, and surgery. Compression therapy is a non-invasive treatment for varicose veins that involves applying steady pressure to the legs to ease discomfort and pain. The goal of compression therapy is to improve circulation and prevent the veins from getting worse. There are three main types of compression therapy for varicose veins. Supportive pantyhose, compression stockings, prescription stockings, Supportive pantyhose is the lightest form of compression therapy and is usually only effective for mild forms of varicose veins. Compression stockings are available over the counter and provide more support than pantyhose. They are available in different compression levels and are typically worn during the day. Prescription stockings are the most supportive and are often recommended for moderate to severe varicose veins. They are typically worn during the day and at night. Minimally invasive procedures such as catheter ablation, sclerotherapy, or laser therapy can help close off damaged veins and improve circulation. Catheter ablation involves inserting a catheter through a small incision in the skin and guiding it to the affected vein. The catheter then uses radiofrequency energy to heat up the vein, causing it to shrink and eventually close off. After the vein closes, blood flow is redirected to healthier veins, which helps to improve circulation and reduce symptoms. Sclerotherapy involves injecting a sclerosing agent into the affected vein. 
the sclerosing agent causes the vein to become inflamed and eventually close off. Laser therapy uses intense light to shrink and close off the affected veins. In severe cases, surgery may be necessary to remove damaged veins and improve circulation. However, surgery is generally more invasive and has a longer recovery time compared to minimally invasive procedures.